I know it's Super Bowl Sunday, so thank you for spending a, a minute or two, and I'll be quick, I promise. Um, I'm really proud of the girls today. You know, first of all, congratulations to Villanova. I mean, to have nine wins in a row and, and to go on a run like this, beating Connecticut, Marquette in overtime, a couple of their wins before, it just shows they're clearly an NCAA team. They're super well coached. They have one of the greatest players in college basketball. But they also have other really good players. Garzon, Hurley, he, you know, their point guard's a hell of a player. Mullen, they, 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 you know, they, Olsen, their point guard, they bring a lot of good players. And yes, this was their fifth game in 10 days, and we took a little advantage of that. But it was our fifth game in 11 days. So, you know, we don't want to forget that, and we don't want to take anything away from our girls either. And we feel we have a really good team when we play together and we just help each other out. And today, yes, Lauren Clark Lane, masterful, 33 points. But look at the job Maya Bembry did. Seven rebounds, really played well. Katie Armstrong came in, hit a big shot, played really good defense for us. Katicia Dean, normally if she didn't score, they would say she didn't play well. I thought she played her rear end off today and really competed and helped us. Mari Wright comes in at the end of the game, two, three minutes, comes in, gets the ball, gets fouled, makes a foul shot, plays really good defense, gets defensive rebound. All those things are really important. And we're finally gelling as a team because I think we've all started to accept our roles and accept it's really important for everyone to play well for us to be successful. And then obviously Lauren was special today, um, but she's a special player and uh, she had a really good week of practice and I was telling TV beforehand, um, she's just relaxing, having more fun. I think we put so much pressure on being picked third, making the tournament, just relax and have fun. Just go win, go day by day, have a good practice, have a good game and have some fun. And we have, we fought through a lot of adversity ourselves too. So I'm proud of the girls. You make a great point. We know if we can win the rebounding battle, we're going to have a great chance to win the game. They only had two offensive rebounds for the first three quarters. Now, mind you, they had 10 in the last quarter. Two times they had three. But they really did a great job for three quarters, our team. And we said to the team, it's not anything we specifically worked on, but focusing on defense and focusing on rebounding. And if we could rebound, we could be special. And, you know, we still had you know, a great, great, you know, advantage for three quarters. Last quarter they caught up, but we still ended up with three, a plus three on the rebounding thing, and that was important. You know, I mean, she's a great player. I, I think one of the top ten players in college basketball. People think I'm crazy. She is. And she's a better person. She's, I recruited her. I know her family. She's an amazing young woman. And we're lucky to have her in the Big East. But, you know, she was tired, clearly, especially as the game went on. You know, playing a lot of games. But also us constantly hammering on her and being on her. I mean, she took 25 shots. It just shows what a warrior she is. She wasn't backing down. She was still playing. But I think we made her work a lot for her shots. And she really got most of her um, points on offensive rebounds. She had six in the, second, in the fourth quarter. I think five total, six for the game. And I just think we focused on really making things hard for her. And I think that just wears on her. And then, you know, a couple of their other kids were a little off, and we benefited from that. You know, before we went on this winning streak, Katie Armstrong came into my office. And she said, Coach B, this isn't good how the team's playing, and I'm not playing well. And took all the accountability and responsibility for herself. She wasn't like, I should be playing more. She's like, what can I do? And we talked it out, and I wrote three things on a little post-it, and I think she still has it. She's done all of those three things. And she's a winner. She's raised the right way. She doesn't complain. But I was so proud of her to get 1,000 points. But I was so proud of her, her defense and her hustle and her being a great teammate and coming in every day and being in a good mood. 
and picking her teammates up and being a great friend. I mean, she's awesome. I wouldn't trade her. She's one of the best recruits we've transfers we've ever signed and we signed some great ones and Sydney obviously you know has really started to grow in her own after the Marquette game we had a long talk and she was very upset and um, instead of pouting or being upset she ca and, and sulking she came into my office and we talked to that again but again raised by great parents and she's really started to come in her own I think she's relaxed she's having more fun she's playing the way she can and yes they both did you know this and that on the stat sheet but they're just really great people, and they've helped unify this team a lot. And I was proud to see Sid. She made some key baskets for us today, too. She really did. And 10 defensive rebounds. That's important. You know, it's hard. You know, I, I'm, I'm always nervous right now. You know, we don't play till Friday. You know, are we going to be like, all right, we accomplished something? No, we haven't accomplished anything yet. We have a long way to go. We still have, um, you know, uh, what do we got? Uh, five, more league, five more league games. So we have a long way to go. But we still have an opportunity to achieve some of our goals. I, I just think this week we need to rest. We need to enjoy Valentine's Day. Um, everyone out there enjoy Valentine's Day. But then we need to come back Tuesday and have a good practice. Province is extremely well coached. They have a superstar player in Crooms, two tremendous big people, and it's going to be a difficult game. And for us to want to achieve our goals, we're going to have to be ready to play a better game. More importantly, we have to defend. If we defend, we have a chance to be special. And I thought we defended for the second game in a row really well. We played Xavier here three games ago, and we didn't defend a lick. And we were really concerned, and we really talked about it as a staff, and we really talked to the kids about it. You got to defend better. And the last two games, they've done a better job of that. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Great. Thank you.